Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen on this uh, dry Friday morning for a change. I think we've had it raining the last few lives we've done. I've got uh, Simon in the kitchen. Hello. Hello. And we have a guest today doing the comments. It's Karen Naylor. She's just nipped off to get the recipe for me and she'll be back in a minute and I will shout out the hellos again. So have you, have you seen my board, Simon? There we are. Look at what Carol did for me. I've got my own Karen. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you something else as well while we get the, while we get the crowns up. I've been playing this morning. Wanted to make sure that look at that. It's all right, Sam. We'll do that in a minute. I was just piping with her hand. I thought I'm gonna have a go, and I got the little number twelve nozzle out, and I thought I'll have a go. The only thing was, I couldn't fit forever on the bottom line. <laughs> There wasn't enough room, so it's just Carol and Karen. I managed to do some kisses, and we've done some hearts, and then I managed to do the the one M in the swirl in the rose swirl, and some meringue kiss the the meringue blobby kisses. What do you think of them colours? Nice. Are we on? So I'm um, just Oops. so her, oh, Karen's back. Karen's so here. good morning, Karen. Good morning. So thank you very much for coming and helping and doing the comments for us. No problem at all. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, <laughs> we're expecting a lot from you. <laughs> oh, you'll get a lot from me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, that, not that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you, <laughs> I'm just right today. Today, as I, as I promised, I'm going to do a couple more vegan recipes. Now, I've been playing, and I must admit, I've fallen in love with it. It's absolutely great. I've made... I'm going to move, I'm going to move Karen out of the way. Me. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to put it because, I tell you what, yeah. my counter is it's absolutely... Green. It's green, Karen. What's going on? Because... We, we, we've kept it on the green because I've kept the uh, the carol with sugar and crumbs on the pink board ready for photographs later. I didn't want to ruin it, so I've gone to a, I've gone to the green board. But I work on green all the time, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me just show you these bad boys. Here yeah, we go. <laughs> I've got wow. these bad boys here. I love when Ryan says that we've got bad boys. We've got it's um, the vegan chocolate orange muffins and it's made using the uh, sugar and crumbs natural flavored chocolate orange cocoa powder and then the top is the uh, sugar and crumbs natural flavored icing sugar jaffa twist and then the sweets on the top are vegan i went shopping in holland and barrett and found vegan sweets so look at those you could actually do all them and uh, for your for your children or for yourselves if you're vegan and you, you want to have something sweet like that they're really good to hand out at a party or just for a, a cup of tea. What Why do you not? reckon? Do you, Why not? Do you think they look all right then, Karen? They look good enough to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just vegan chocolate buttons and some uh, vegan, it's like they're like crunch balls. It's like. So I'm going to make these today for you. I'm also going to make um, a Victoria sponge, a classic Victoria sponge. But I'm going to, um, I'm going to put, okay. it's all right. I'm, gonna, I'm talking to the green board then, Simon. <laughs> I'm just going to put, I'm going to flavour it with the strawberries and cream uh, natural flavoured icing sugar, but I'm going to also make a vegan non-dairy buttercream with the same flavour of icing sugar, just for a change from fresh cream, but I am still going to decorate it up with strawberries, because I don't think you can beat a Victoria sponge unless it's got strawberries on it. Right, what I want to do first, I want to actually... Um, make the cupcakes so I can have those in the oven baking and then I will be able to decorate them at the end near the end of the show when they've cooled down so I'm just going to pop my oven on now we've got loads of people saying hello those cakes look massive uh, it's worth becoming a vegan for these. <laughs> yes, it's our lovely new, look at those, the bumblebee cupcake cases. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good portion, that, isn't it, Karen? Yeah, yeah. This, recipe, this recipe makes 12 of uh, these cupcake muffins. If you want to do the smaller fairy cakes, you will get 24 out of it. 
So the gas, the oven's gone on to 180 degrees C. It's gas mark for 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have turned the oven on. I've now put my cupcake cases in my baking tray ready. Now this mixture is a very runny mixture. So um, you be very careful when you're spooning it into your bowls. Why is that, Karen? Because it's a batter. Right. It's What's a batter because it's got oil and milk in it. Just explain yeah. what, what, it is, what the... It's more of a, it's more, it's, it's more of a batter because you're using oil. Yeah. Any cakes that you have with oil in tend to become... They're a batter cake rather than um, a, a thick cake mix make. Right. And what, what's the difference with that? Why, 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 is, why are some things different? Because I've not got eggs in well, it. Well, newbies. Yeah, I've not got eggs in it. It's more liquid. It's more right, liquid more than liquid. it is. Yeah. And the great thing about this recipe is I can make it in the bowl so your children can make it because you don't have to worry about the electric mixer. The only time I'm going to use the electric mixer is to make the buttercream um, icing later, buttercream, just because I, I like it lovely, light and fluffy. So that is the only time I will use the electric mixer. I just want to have a quite electric mix. Well, you can do it with a, a beater and just keep beating. Good for the bingo wings. Absolutely. In this bowl now, I'm, oh, first... <laughs> right, the first thing you want to do is you have your 200 mils of soya milk. And I'm going to put in, it's, um, two, it's 20 mil, which is four teaspoons... Yeah. It's four teaspoons of cider vinegar. And this makes a buttermilk. Is there an alternative if somebody hasn't got cider vinegar? You know. I believe you can use lemon juice. Right. Is it with mother? What? The cider vinegar. Oh, dear. <laughs> Simon, it's Friday, please, now. Oh. <laughs> Showing your age, Simon, <laughs> and so am I. Because <laughs> I understand what you're on about. Just give that a, just give that a stir around, and then we're going to set this aside until we're ready to add it to. So you do this it's first. Because it's got mother in it now. It's, it's, it's all the rage. Right, shush. <laughs> so. Just... I've got the four teaspoons of cider vinegar in my 200 mils of soya milk and that's just going to go set to the side because that's going to just uh, mature while I'm mixing all my dry ingredients. I've got 200 mil, 170, sorry, I've got 170 grams of self-raising flour. That's going into the bowl along with 30 grams of sugar and crumbs natural flavoured cocoa powder. It's the lovely orange one. Now I'm just going to get the packet there. And just to clarify, this is cocoa powder. This is cocoa powder. I'm just going to show you here. So I've got the co chocolate orange cocoa powder. It's um. Just let me. It's show that. Yeah, okay. it's gluten free, suitable for vegetarians, it's suitable for vegans, and it's dairy free. And this comes in some gorgeous flavours. We've got coconut. We have um. Chocolate chili, chocolate coconut, chocolate orange, chocolate lime, chocolate cherry. Mm. <laughs> so uh, they're becoming. So you could actually make your cupcakes any flavour you wanted using one of our natural flavoured cocoa powders. Now, don't forget the, re the the recipes for all the I'm doing today are on the website. I've already put them on. I put them on yesterday, and you can find it by going to Simon. Um. The recipe uh, website, there we go. You have to point to it. It's double, it's sugar and crumbs, dot sugar and crumbs, it's, sorry, it's www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk. But again, on the back of every packet of icing, sugar and cocoa powder, the recipe website is there. You also can just put into Google uh, sugar and crumbs recipes and that will bring you the link up to. Or you can go to sugarandcrumbs.co.uk and click on the recipes link. Absolutely. So you've got loads of way of getting there. And if you want to know the vegan recipes, just type the word vegan in and it brings up 10 recipes now in the vegan section. So just type, type vegan and it'll bring all the vegan recipes up for you. So in this bowl is 170 grams of self-raising flour, 30 grams of natural flavoured chocolate orange cocoa powder. I'm also going to put into there 200 grams of natural flavoured chocolate um, Jaffa Twist it's, the, it's a chocolatey flavoured icing sugar, so it's the Jaffa Twist flavour. So that's going into there. And then it's a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, 
baking powder and salt. So that's all going into there. I'm just uh, shutting the door a bit. The dogs have gone daft. And I'm just going to mix this now until all the ingredients are totally combined. Karen, can you just go over the ingredients again? Because uh, Geraldine is having uh, issues with her subtitles. It's all right. It's 170 grams of self-raising flour. We have 30 grams of Sugar and Crumbs natural flavoured chocolate orange cocoa powder. I have 200 grams of uh, Sugar and Crumbs natural flavoured icing sugar. I've used the Jaffa Twist flavour. I've got a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarb of soda, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And that's everything in this bowl. It's all nice and mixed up. So now I'm going to add, it's 80 ml of light rapeseed oil or any other flavourless oil that you want to use. You don't have to use rapeseed but as long as you use a flavourless oil that will be absolutely fine. And I'm also going to put our milk mixture in, which was 200 ml of um, soya milk, and I had four teaspoons of cider vinegar. I've mixed it. It goes a little, if you can go into the overhead a little bit, Simon, it goes a little bit curdly, and that's made buttermilk. That's all right. It's made buttermilk, so that's just going to go in as well. Now, what you do is you quickly mix this, and I do recommend, I recommend as well, because I did it yesterday, it was really good, recommend a, a, metal, a metal spoon. And you mix it as quickly as you can until it's combined. Now we're not going for a smooth mixture. It will still appear to be lumpy and that is absolutely correct. So you don't have to keep mixing and mixing. You're just stirring it around until all the dry ingredients have mixed into the liquid. Is the recipe already on the sugar it is. page? You've only got to, if you put into the sugar, if you put in the vegan chocolate orange muffins, they will find it. Okay. Thank you. As you can see, it's all mixing up really nice now. There's comments here wanting to know what Simon's had for breakfast because he's very chatty this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Has he had too many E numbers? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I think so. I've had a different breakfast today. I've actually had porridge today. There so we go. So he's full of beans. No. Porridge. Full of oats. He's had his oats this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Porridge with cranberries. There we go. So I'm going to spoon this mixture. As I said, it's it's quite loose, but you're just going to carefully spoon it into each muffin case. Now I go to just about halfway. Okay, Karen um, has already said, I've been asked what uh, should we search for on the Mixing It Up page. If you search for vegan recipes, all 10 that are currently on there will come up and you can select whichever one you want. Geraldine Allen's saying that Simon's had porridge with a pile of meringue kisses hidden inside. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely not. <laughs> He's sugared up. <laughs> I've had, a, I've had a, a, a night's sleep, that's the difference, isn't it? I've what do you feel? Like about? Three days of manic working. Anybody would think you weren't used to it? I'm not. <laughs> that smells absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Smell smell it smell the, or, the orange is absolutely yeah. lovely, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I'm scraping the bowl as much as I can here. I'm just going to use my little um, lovely scraper that are all back in stock now if you'd like to buy them. 
Like everyone loves these so, scrapers. Are these, are these larger cases than normal? No, no, they're just they're just what we class as uh, large cupcake cases or muffin cases. Yeah. They're they're, they're the foil ones that we get. The um, the culprit foil ones. You get forty five. So these are classed as large cupcake cases. Yes. Not the, the they're not f they're not they're not fairy cupcake cases. No, they're uh, or is it buns? What is it? They're, these are the large cupcake cases. Mm -hmm. Just going to fill any ones that I think are a little bit short. That one. So I've managed to scrape all of them. But as you can see, it makes twelve. Just makes twelve nice ones. I think I've. Be taking the pattern soon. Simon, could you just show a side view to see how full yes, the cupcake ca cases are? Um, because Maury, uh, she is saying that um, it looks as if you just filled just half I have rather just, than I big waters. No, I have filled. I have. I have hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I'm just going to. Um, you know me and chocolate guys. <laughs> I get it everywhere, so I'm just tidying up the chocolate. You've moved them now. Oh, sorry. No, just, well, I'm getting rid of chocolate. There we go. So, some there's a couple that are just over half. In fact, they're nearly, nearly all over half. There's, there's a couple that are just a bit under, but... Um, do, 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 do. I can see. Okay, we've got a comment from Maureen Simpson. Yeah. Um, who's asking about vanilla vegan. Uh, she says she finds vegan cakes always have a gooey texture and they're not crumbly. Is there any way of fixing the temp the textures? Has she tried chocolates, these? Chocolates you can get away with. Yes. Yeah. The lemon and vanilla, the lighter cakes, right. she finds always tends to be a bit gooey. Well, I'll have to have a practice with them because I've never, I've never baked them. So this is the first vegan cupcake that I've baked. So I will have a practice with them and see what's... Um, I'll do it with our velvet vanilla so flavoured icing sugar. That goes on the list of sessions for the future. Then. Well, Absolutely. You're making a Victoria sponge after this. I am making a Victoria sponge. I'll show, I will show you the Victoria sponge because I've already baked two layers. Um, as you know, it takes too long in the oven and I won't be able to decorate it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to pop it in the oven to bake and hopefully by the time we finish the session, it will be out for you to see it. But I have got one that's cooled completely now, ready for me to decorate for you. So I'm going to pop these in the oven and these go in the oven for, I'm sure, here we go. I had to, I only did them yesterday. 15 minutes. Wow, that's really quick. Yes. And it's on 180 degrees. And have we got that equivalent in Fahrenheit and gas yes, marks? Yes, I have. It's gas mark four, and it's 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you very much. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 15 minutes. That is ex absolutely correct. So they're in the oven then, and I want to bring those out so they'll cool. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm just going to cut one of these in half, mm. just so you can see what it looks like on the inside before we make the Victoria sponge. Now these were only made fresh yesterday afternoon, the last thing before I went home. They almost look good enough to eat. I mean, look how, can you see, uh, can you see that? Do you need to, do you need to lift it up, Simon, or do uh, you go on, down to it? Side at the moment. What do you want me to do with it? Uh, do you want me to come yes, down please. and have a look? Yes, please, yes. Can you see the loads of air bubbles? So they are lovely. They look really yummy. So, there we go. Just put that one over there. I'm sure that will get eaten later. Right. It's now Victoria sponge time. Mm. Oh, I'll get that on in a moment. Again, this is so easy making a bowl. Absolutely great. I've got my 400 mil. Oh, I always keep it in the fridge because it's so warm. I don't like to... Lots of loves. Lots of love hearts. Everybody saying it looks lovely. Uh, Lynn Woodward saying that she's going to send your recipe to her friend in Germany. Oh, lovely. Uh, and Elaine Lawton says, no, send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's referring to the cake rather than the recipe. <laughs> Geraldine Kisby saying it's nice to see some vegan cakes, etc. for a change. Yes. Uh, Maureen McDonald's 
let's say it's gorgeous texture. Well, and Alison Skirt could just eat, eat that now with a cuppa. Well, just let me show you these. I've put these in a bag. I'm just going to get these out. Just before we start Victoria Sponge. Ooh. What about these? Bonus bag. Bonus bag. Look at these, eh? My lovely vegan scones. And this is going to be Monday's. So I'm going to do some vegan scones on Monday, and possibly I'll probably do some. Um, I'll I'll do some uh, vegan vanilla cupcakes for people who said they're struggling. We'll try it. Let's let's get it out there, and we'll try, we'll try the uh, see what the texture looks like for you. So these are vegan scones. Smell divine. And what flavour are they? Just I've vanilla. Or no, I've flavor? actually done it with a straw. The strawberries and cream natural flavoured. Yeah, the strawberries and cream natural flavoured icing sugar. And we use the egg replacer right. as a, rather than the egg, egg replacer with water. So they're in the bag, all nice and safe. Lovely. Linda Miles is saying, who's the person commenting? I don't recognise the voice. It's Karen Naylor, she's popped in. <laughs> Carol asked her, would she like to come and do the uh, presenting for me on a Monday and a Friday? As you know, Carol's absolutely snowed out with work, so she's got loads of emails and loads of orders to put in. So she's asked Karen, and Karen quite nicely at the moment, because you, you're off, aren't you? You've, I am. You've, uh, quite, she's quite nicely asked, she said she'll come in and do my comments. Better than sitting at home doing that. <laughs> so you all said you wanted a Karen. Well, Karen got a Karen. <laughs> I got my own Karen. <laughs> and it's lovely to be here. <laughs> right, Victoria sandwich. Into the bowl, we're going to put all the dry ingredients, which is 400 grams of self raising flour. I've got 240 grams of the strawberries and cream natural flavoured icing sugar from Sugar and Crumbs. I have two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm just going to get those, mix up, just make sure they're all mixed together. And just to recap, this is for your vegan. This is for the Victoria vegan sponge. classic Victoria sponge, yes. Okay. There we go, so that's all mixed together. And into this mixture, we're putting. Um, where is it? Oh, we've been described as special case. Special. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 400 ml of soya or rice milk. I'm using soya milk, but you can use rice milk. And this is just plain. I've not added anything to it. It's just 400 ml of soya milk. Is it unsweetened? I'll just pick one up. Well, this one. Yeah, because it, it's unsweetened, which I'm not really bothered about because I've got a load of icing sugar in there, yeah. which will sweeten the cake anyway. Oh, it's probably won't make any yeah. difference, will it? And I have 160 ml of light rapeseed oil. Again, you don't have to use rapeseed if you don't want to, you can use any flavourless oil. Do you know where those bowls came from that you're using? Linda Donnelly's asking. No. Okay. But Carol used to buy, she bought a lot of things in Dunelm and things mm. like that, so... Uh, yeah, Dunelm and places like that Carol bought them from. Well, bought, bought a lot of things from. Yeah. Again, you're mixing this now, and it doesn't matter if it's got lumps in it. You're just mixing it until you've got all the dry ingredients. I think they're like here, actually. Well, there we go. There we go. But it's one place I don't like going. Oh, no. You start at the top and you have to follow the arrows all the way down to every floor. Just Everywhere's got a one-way system now, so it's yeah, the same. Yeah, <laughs> Ikea's just got a, lot of, Ikea's got a lot of floors. When you've mixed this, I should have done this with the chocolate cupcakes and I forgot. What you do is, quick bang. Just give it a quick bang on the table. All you're doing is, you're just releasing a few air bubbles so that the raisin agents don't start acting too quickly. We're going to divide this equally into... Both the I've greased and lined two seven in, uh, two eight inch tins, the sandwich tins. Debbie Hargreaves is asking, could you use coconut milk as opposed to the soya milk? I don't see why not. No, I don't. I don't see why not because it's still it, it's still vegan, mm. so I don't see I don't see why you couldn't use the coconut milk. These are because I was, I've just been googling so many recipes on the on the on on the internet. Mm. 
door gripping saying we're going to be, have to be called Karen number one and Karen number two and we've got to fight out for who gets top position. Me. <laughs> oh well, I lost that one. I've been here longest. <laughs> Sorry Karen. <laughs> I've been a customer longer than you. <laughs> you know, you're splitting hairs now Karen. <laughs> As you can see, it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a quite a liquid batter. Again, all I'm going to do, a couple of taps onto the counter. And I don't know if you could see, if you could do me a, a quick of a, a close-up, please, Simon. On that? Yeah, please. I just want to show them the air bubbles. Let me get closer. Please. I don't know if you can see the little, the little air bubbles there. That's what I've just popped. By doing, doing that, it just pops some air bubbles. Therefore, it all uh, won't start rising too quickly. The agents don't start working too quick. And that goes in 180 degrees, gas mark 4, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to pop that in the oven now as well. Well, Linda Miles is saying that you could use the vanilla or strawberry soya milk to flavour it as well. So they come in com complementary flavours. comments on the green board today? No. People not missing no. the pink board? Nobody's mentioned the board. Yeah, but the pink board's carols. I don't I mind don't having know. a you, green you, board. It, it's like you've, you've not got pink board privileges anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's nothing it, to do with me being here. Is it, is, has there been a knife incident on it? <laughs> no. I will have pink board privileges back on Monday. It's just that the pink board is really full at the moment and I didn't want to despoil I didn't want to spoil the display while we're doing photographing because we're supposed to have a super duper photographer who's doing some stuff afterwards. Oh really? I can't oh, think right. who it is. Oh, 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 well. in at the <laughs> right. I wrapped this yesterday, I just want to keep it nice and fresh. I'll just show you this sponge before I make the buttercream for it. Right, Sue, so she's actually making vegan cakes this morning. So we've got chocolate orange vegan cupcakes, and they're in the oven. Uh, we're waiting for those to bake, but she's also now making a vegan Victoria sponge. There is my vegan chocolate orange muffins, and they're in the oven now, as Karen said, but these are the ones that I made yesterday and decorated. And I'm hoping that the other ones will be out and cool enough for me to decorate in a while. Okay, question from Helen Miles. She doesn't have the orange cocoa powder. Yeah. So could she add Jaffa Twist icing sugar to cocoa powder? And if so, in what quantities? No. No. She could, if she wanted to, not use, she could actually just use the, um, rather than the sugar, just use 200 grams of um, self-raising flour and 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 add the um the fifty grams. Of no, add it add it to the sugar because I for the sugar I'm just trying to think just rather than putting the cocoa in it if she hasn't got cocoa powder mm -hmm. it'd be two hundred grams of self raising flour and then she'd put in two hundred grams of sugar and crumbs. Um, Sorry, she's got twist. ordinary cocoa powder. She's got cocoa powder. Oh, right. She hasn't got the flavored cocoa powder. So she's asking, could she add the plain cocoa powder? to Jaffa Twist icing but she's sugar. Putting, well, she's putting Jaffa Twist icing sugar in already. She's putting 200 grams of Jaffa Twist in, so just put the plain cocoa powder in. So the Jaffa Twist does it the Jaffa Twist, enough of the orange yes. flavour. It does be slightly less orange. Yeah, but, it'll say, but then when you do your uh, Jaffa Twist buttercream, you're going you're gonna to have a lovely orange flavour anyway. Hope that's answered your question, Helen. Yeah, just use normal cocoa powder and then just carry on with your Jaffa Twist icing sugar and you will get a lovely chocolate orange flavoured cake anyway so here we go we've got um i told you karen i'm lethal with chocolate <laughs> lethal i am i am too i've got the sponge here now i baked it on 180 as it said and it just cracked slightly around the edge there it's still a lovely moist cake but um don't worry because i'm going to turn it upside down anyway and i'm going to decorate it upside down so no one's even going to see these cracks 
so put that on there because I'm going to now cover that up I'm just going to make you this is when you do need your mixer Will the vegan, cake, vegan cakes keep longer than a normal sponge or has it the same sort of shelf life? I would have said it's the same, I would have said because you've got the milk in it, it's the same shelf life. Mm. I definitely would, you, you'll know when it's uh, when it goes stale, you just don't want to eat it, it's bird food isn't What's it? What's stale? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, I must admit nothing in my house seems to ever go stale. <laughs> I've got a son who absolutely adores cake. Again, Anela's asking, how long do we bake the Victoria sponge for? The Victoria sponge is baked for 18 to 20 minutes. You. Until, it, and then, until you put your cake tester in and it comes out nice and clean and the top has a lovely golden brown colour. I'm going to just get my vegan uh, non-dairy butter out of the fridge. Alison Scurry, you're making me laugh this morning. When I work with chocolate, I end with it all over my mouth. <laughs> yeah, that's <got> good. <laughs> so I've got the vegan non dairy spread, and because I've left it in the fridge, I wanted it to stay as hard as it could. So I've left it in the fridge, and I'm just going to put that into the mixer and I'm going to mix that up to make it lovely light and fluffy before we add the buttercream. I'm going to turn that on there like that. So I'm waiting for this to mix. I just want to say thank you for last night for when Carol was on the live. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the lovely comments and the messages of support that you sent through to her. She wasn't, she is upset, but the messages that you sent through to her, privately and on the Facebook, has cheered her up immensely. Um, it's she's strong. She's she'll be back. You know she will. She, it's just one of those things. I think it also didn't help with the uh, the whipping it up. Looking at it this morning, I did the exact same recipe and I had no interruptions and I just got on with it. I think with Carol talking yesterday, I have a feeling it was overbeaten and that's why it wouldn't stay. So I'll just show you what I did this morning. Can you see them all right, Simon? Sorry. I was just playing with the number 12, the Wilton number 12 nozzle this morning, showing you you can write nice small letters. And I was just playing, and um, the uh, the 250 grams of whipping it up and the 100 ml of water works absolutely fine. They bake, they've got a lovely solid bottom on them. I even did some rose swirls. There you go, Maureen, that answers your question about how the muffins have been in. I know I'm going to go and get them out now.
Uh, she's already done the draw for this because she's not here today. She's done it in advance, so I'm just going to read out the names. So congratulations to Holly Pace, Vicky Barr, Deborah Clark, Alicia Smith, Linda Elizabeth Donnelly, Doris May. Apologies if I've pronounced your Mayor, Apologies if I've pronounced your surname wrong. I can't tell whether it's an M A I S or an M A I R. Anne Cunliffe. Jackie Adams, Sarah Ball and June Tasker. Well done everybody, you've all won yourself a set of mini Russian flower nozzles. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you for liking and sharing and 10 winners, that's amazing. Absolutely. I'm just going to just turn that off now because now Karen's just done that first competition. She's going to be doing competitions throughout the course of the, the demo just while I, when I have to nip off to the oven. Just going to get these because they're a bit warm. Just going to show you, they've just come out of the oven. Look at them. Chocolate orange, can you smell that? Warm chocolate orange. Well, this is the time that I could just actually eat one of these warm with a brew. Never mind you can't smell it. I can't. Can you smell <laughs> that? <laughs> smell a vision, smell a vision. Can you smell that, people? <laughs> Lorraine Parr says chocolate makes her clothes shrink. <laughs> Problem as well. <laughs> That's what it was. You don't I wash it. your clothes in chocolate. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm just going to turn. Right, that's just whipped up lovely now. I'm just going to turn it off high speed just for a couple of minutes. The Victoria's Bond hasn't got long to go anyway. It's just getting the, the muffins to cool long enough for me to, to do them. But I've got Karen here to do a competition. So while the muffins are cooling, Karen's going to be doing competitions for me. Don't forget to like and share this live today, please, ladies. It's for six bags of icing sugar or three bags of whipping it up. But, as I'm using icing sugar and cocoa powder, let's say you could have three bags of cocoa powder or six bags of icing sugar. No, I would absolutely adore smell of it, it'd be great. which I've now whipped up nice and light and I've got 300 grams of sugar and crumbs of strawberries and cream natural flavoured icing sugar. Put that in. Do you know those things where you just lose everything, Karen? Could you pass me a spatula, please? Of course. Yeah, I, just, uh, I must have used them both on the chocolate cake. Linda Elizabeth Donnelly is so happy that she's won. Well done, it's brilliant when you win a prize, and especially with the nifty nozzles. Just behind the kettle. Right. Magic, thank you. No, no, I just want to chop the uh, icing sugar into the butter so we don't end up with a, a sugar icing cloud. Thank you all. And here we go. So we're just going to chop this butter in now. Again, it is much better if you do chop it in because you end up covered in icing sugar and all your shelves, your worktops, everything else. I learnt the hard way when I had to go around the whole kitchen, <laughs> wiping it all down. It does make a bit of a mess, it doesn't does. it? So just chop it in, it doesn't take long. So you can do the buttercream by hand if you wanted to, but you're going to have to have strong hands and... Mm -hmm. well, I mean, you could, time. Yeah, but you also could do it with a hand mixer, if you have a hand mixer. Yeah. Right, I've chopped that in, and I'm just going to start that just on a low speed. There we go. And then once I've got it all combined, I will turn the speed up for a good 30 seconds. Just want to get it all combined first. It's just the same as making it the normal buttercream way. I just, I've just used the same method. So that's all combined.
And there we go, we've got some gorgeous strawberries and cream flavoured non-dairy buttercream. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we go. There we go. I've got my, my cake board, which I'm going to put the bottom. Well, there's a good tip here from Kathy Eaton. She says when she's mixing icing sugar, she turns her kitchen extractor fan on and mixes it underneath it. Yeah, so that is a good that tip. Helps that is strong a strong sugar cloud. And what brand of non-dairy butter have you used? I've used um, the Vita, the Vita Light one today. Yesterday, when I was in this one here, is the Flora, the Flora really, the Flora plant-based uh, non-dairy butter. But today, to make the one in the oven now, I've used a Vita Light. They're both really good. They're both you can get them from all the main supermarkets. Want to, I just want to make the inside a, a, a bit posh. You can just spread it if you want to with your palette knife. I just want to make the inside just a bit posh. Yeah. You could always just go around the outside edge. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Spread it all in the middle and then that's hidden, isn't it, anyway? So. too much because I'm going to put some strawberries on as well. Oh, I just want to go around here. It always is a little bit smoother, a little bit softer than the normal buttercreams. Because I've used margarine, as we said, it, that's why you can't pipe, that's why you can't do nifty nozzles really with margarine. It just doesn't... Oops, a daisy. And I'm trying to do what Karen does, to make sure I save enough for the top. I don't want too much because I've got some strawberries on there as well. Hmm. The smells wafting across yeah. the kitchen. Bring that in there. Wafting There's it. There's all it? sorts of combination <laughs> of flavour <laughs> smells now. There's chocolate and strawberry and oh, it's lovely. But you all wish you were here. <laughs> <laughs> and look at that. So that's just enough on there. Move that out of the way. Then I'm just because I'm on a green. I'm not even chopping on that green board. We're going to chop on this green board instead. Mm -hmm. Geraldine Kisby suggested that she always uses a stock block when she's making a frosting uh, for bacon. Oh, right, thank you. That's a that's a, a great tip. Thank you. I will get some of that for Monday. So all I'm doing, I'm just cutting the tops off. They've all been washed, and I'm just just slicing them. So I could just put some a layer of slices along there. I'm just going to point the just for the for the outside. I'm just going to actually point. Oh, a bit of artistic license there. Yeah, just oh, to wow. try and make it look a bit. Well, we're going posh, aren't we? You know. Is this for photographic purposes? No, this is because I'm just being, you know. Karen. Good being Karen. <laughs> I'm going posh. I'm showing them I, I can do it. Nikki King's asking me, how much weight am I going to put on today? <laughs> <laughs> Nikki obviously doesn't know me. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I'm just go and check my Victoria sponge. Okay. Would you like to do another draw, Karen? Yes, of course I will. No problem at all. So on the 10th of July, on Karen's show, when she was making the Jaffa Twist Cheesecake, uh, again, lots of um, lots of shares on there, and the price was a six bags of icing sugar, uh, flavours of your choice, and well done to Jodie Gibbons, 
who wins that particular competition. If you give us a, a send us an email at info dot sugar and crumbs at icloud dot com uh, let us know that you are claiming your prizes and the office will get the prizes out to you if you've got an order coming in um, that would be great because we can then pop your prize winnings in with the uh, with your order um, but if not just let us know that you've no order coming in and then Did we'll they also have to tell you what competition they've won Yes, please. Yes. That would, just to make that it would e help. Just to that make it help. easier for you, yes. Yeah, that would help. So, uh, the ladies, uh, if you let us know that you won the mini Russian flower nozzle set, and Jodie, if you would let us know that you won the Jaffa, tw Jaffa Twist Cheesecake competition. Thank you. Let's move that out of the way. Put my top on. Just push that down a little bit. Ooh, that looks good. And that was the inside, was it? Mm -hmm. All that fanciness was on the inside. Yes, it is. It is. It's just <laughs> yeah. a, you know that when people get a piece, they've got fanciness on the inside. Absolutely. And there's nothing worse than having a piece of cake that's supposed to be strawberry and there's no strawberry in it because yeah. you've been miserly with the strawberries. <laughs> you've been mingy. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to use the rest of my buttercream. Can I just say all these meringues in here are winking at me? They are, yeah. are they? <laughs> they are, yeah. Yeah, they've got fed up a winking at Simon. I'm <laughs> getting nothing back from me. <laughs> well, I think that. I mean, none of it. The lads in the warehouse are going to be well happy later. No doubt. There we go, just going to put that over there. Put that out of the way. Oops, dropped a bit there. Just clean up again. I'm just going to pipe just a few little swirls around the edge. If you wanted to, you could cover the whole top with, with swirls, or you could um, just cover the top just with buttercream. Elaine Lawton seems to think that Simon's gone quiet and fallen asleep. <laughs> well, and Can you not see the pictures, <laughs> Jim? <Jim's laughs> Helen Williams, the competitions that you're hearing about, they are announced on each live session. So Karen has already um, announced today's prize uh, for liking and sharing this, uh, this live session. Like it on the group and like it on the page, I beg your pardon. Share it with all your friends, share it with all the groups that you're in, share it with as many people as you can. And it's those people that both like and share that then go into the competition draw and all those throughout the week are drawn every Friday morning. Yeah. We do it on a Friday now because we like to get the whole week's draws out of the way on a Friday so that we know we've not missed any draws and uh, you're not waiting around. So if you like and share all week, even up to first thing this morning, you'll go into the prize draw because they're always done after half past 11 on a Friday. So can you just recap what is on offer for today? For today, because I've used our natural flavoured cocoa powders and our natural flavoured icing sugars, you can have three bags of cocoa powders or you can have six bags of natural flavoured icing sugar. And which nozzle is it that you use? I've just used a Wilton 1M there. I do like the Wilton 1M. It's lovely. It's got very definite definition to yeah. it, doesn't it? And I'm just going to place the strawberries. Can, can, they, can they mix and match, can they? Could they have one bag of cocoa powder and four bags of ice yeah. And sugar? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it would be that. It, does, it would be one bag of cocoa and four bags of icing sugar, yeah. Oh. Because if they wanted to make this recipe, your, your recipe, they need, yeah, they need, they need both. both. That's don't absolutely, they? that's correct. There you go, people. What an excellent prize. And look at that, I'm just missing a stuff. That's Simon with his innovative ideas again. Absolutely. Always, 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 always. always looking after everyone, aren't I? <laughs>
Oops, today is I don't want a piece of leaf on there. There we go. I always end up leaving the leaves on, but I just think it looks decorative on the it top does. with a, a little bit of green. I think it just looks better than a plain strawberry. Gives it a little bit more yeah. colour, doesn't it? And, and it looks natural too. It does, and you know me. Is, is it vegan? Is, is it vegan bling? It's vegan bling. Absolutely. Uh, just uh, this is you know me. It's my finishing sparkle sugar flare. You cannot have a cake leave this kitchen without being blinged up. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Great for a night out as well, isn't it? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it actually don't. It is. <laughs> that's, what we, that's what we spray with before every show. <laughs> Well, Carol sprayed us at the cake show last year. And everybody else. And everybody else. else. <laughs> Every, everyone got sprayed with it. And I, I took, it took, I, I loved it. But somebody, the people were buying it there because they were going out at the night time. And I said, oh, bling yourself up. They did. They were going out and blinged up. And there's nothing better because it just sticks to you. And you just, you just glimmer. So, ladies, ladies, here is a finished vegan classic victoria sandwich now i know classic you can put the you can fill it with fresh cream but i've done a couple with fresh cream already so i decided just to do a lovely buttercream on the inside and it's lovely and creamy so there is our vegan fantastic i'll just turn it around slowly for you you've got this one show your love for this ladies and gents you've got your strawberries sparkle you've got the sparkle and you've got the strawberries peeking out of the side and would you be able to adapt this to a chocolate recipe if you wanted to make a chocolate yes, what Victoria's I would. Bowl? Yeah, what I would probably do is, again, take 30 grams of the flour out and then replace it with 30 grams of cocoa powder. Lovely. Okay. Give it a spin, Karen. Uh, I'm I'm a, a very small one, you mean. Yes, like that. I've, I've got to remember not to like spin it as though it's going to go off the, you know. <laughs> no, give it a, give it a... No, 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 because of an idea. Not at the <laughs> So, what do you think? Do you all like that? Right, so I'm going to put that in the fridge for a moment while we get on with making our buttercream. Oh, excuse me a minute. Karen, can you do another prize draw, please? Of course, no problem. <laughs> Just say, Bob Baker Paul says that Carol covered him in glitter oh, when he was at Cake International. Yes, he said I he looked did. like a glitter ball. He did, he really did. He was so funny. <laughs> okay, so we have two competitions running on the 13th of July. I'm just going to announce one of them. Uh, Karen was making the vegan cheesecake and a vegan blueberry and lemon loaf cake. Again, uh, there was lots of shares of the prize draw for this is for six bags of the flavoured icing sugars and flavours of your choice. Okay, so congratulations and I know this lady is watching today. Breda Arnold, well done. Well done Breda. Fantastic. Love it. And the closer I'm getting to this cake, the nicer it's smelling. Yatch, yatch. Just going to show them the Victoria's projects out of the oven. Oh, lovely. Right. So I've got to hold it with the oven gloves. So here's the Victoria sponge. Now what I am going to do next time, because I've done it on the... Sorry, I've done it on. I can't go. I can't. There we go. Go a bit lower, because um, I've done it on the the 180 for the uh, 20 minutes. What I am going to try, I'm going to try the uh, the sugar and crumbs way, the long and slow. I think I'm going to reduce the heat in the oven to 140 and see how the cake looks after 30 minutes, mm. 25 to 30 minutes, to see whether we can not have the crack on the top. I mean, I know Victoria's sponge you can have cracked and we can hide it with the buttercream, but I think I'm going to have another go and uh, reduce the oven and do it low and slow and see what we get from that. But they've cut beautifully. The cake picks come out perfectly clear and I'm going to have to leave these now in the tins for at least 10 minutes before I turn them out to cool completely. If you always leave it in the tin, 10-15 uh, minutes at least before you turn out. That way it doesn't drop. Okay. She, Jake, is asking about the spray. Um, which spray is it? She's assuming it's vegan, and you've already established, yes, it is vegan. Uh, we do do two different colours in the finishing sparkle, but there are a number of other colours, but they don't actually say that they are finishing sparkle, but they do give a lovely, beautiful yeah. sheen and shine. Have to hold it under the camera, Carol. Spring uh, to anything that you're spraying it with. 
And there you go. It's sugar flare finishing sparkle. We do a lovely in the uh, in the we do a gold one and a rose gold in mm -hmm. the pump spray as well as this uh, silvery. I call it like it's like silver iridescent. So it's it just a gorgeous sheen to it. But it even makes a sheen on your board. It makes your board look pretty as well. It does. Uh, this that's is, available on our website. It is. House, it's five pound forty nine. I'm going to put this in the fridge. Just because this kitchen is so warm that I need it on. And Debbie Hargreaves is saying that her electrician had one of her cupcakes yesterday and he said it was the best he'd ever had. It was raspberry ripple flavour and he was most impressed with the bling too. You can see that's an electrician that's going to be wanting repeat business, can you? <laughs> <laughs> and he wants the bling. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me put my cake board out of the way. Right. So again, this is the only time that I'm going to use the mixer is on the uh, the non-dairy buttercream that I'm doing. Only because I like to have it uh, nice and smooth and fluffy. Okay, just before you put the... Yeah, I'm going to put it on, on. yeah. Uh, Geraldine Kisby is asking, what tin size uh, did you use? I used two 8-inch sandwich tins. They were the PME loose bottoms because I find those are great. I love the loose bottom tins because I can just tip them up later and onto the uh, the cool mat. Is it, is it a cooling mat? The one that we, you don't get the um, the yeah, marks, yes, the cooling yes. mat. I love tipping them onto that because yeah. I don't get any marks on the top then. Yeah, a lot of people used to use tea towels yeah. they, over the top of the cooling yeah. rack. Um, but now we've got a, something that's specifically designed yeah. for the job. And you're not messing about with it. In fact, let me just get it and I'll just, sh I'll just show it you now. Yeah. It's I've not used it yet because it's still too hot to come out. Michelle Munns is asking, are you going to cut open the sponge for us to see the inside? Or is it going off to someone? I don't actually know. I, no. I suppose I could cut it, I'd cut a little, a little piece. <laughs> there we go. This is the, this is the cooling mat that I put onto my uh, wire tray. So when you turn your cakes out, you turn your cakes out, you don't get any of the uh, the, the, wire, the wire rack trays going across, you know, like crisscrosses. Yeah, that's a very fine mesh. It's a very it? fine one, and you, and you don't even get this mesh into do we it. Have it's, those? We do, this is, these we are do. on our website. Mm -hmm. They're absolutely, they're just called, I think it's just called a cooling mat. Meringues everywhere. <laughs> everywhere, there's just meringues it everywhere. This is. kitchen is just full of meringues. Carol must have made yesterday at five when I went home. I came back last night and Carol must have made about 200 meringues. Well, if you're making it from 500 grams of whipping it up mix, <laughs> well, she was doing different colours. She was, yeah, she was doing well. 250 grams of all the different flavours, but yeah. to do to, to get the different colours, yeah, and we've just got meringues everywhere. <laughs> but I was really, I love the flowers she did I think the with beautiful. the one two. We should use the one two five. They're absolutely great. In fact, they're absolutely um, beautiful. Aren't I'll they? just get a couple of flowers for you again. They're amazing. They're absolutely stunning. Just get those other colours. Where those? Where those? Where, oh, there, there. I'll just take this this gold here. Here we go. Just so you can see them before I do the buttercream, because I just love what she did. Look, let me just move that out of the way a little bit. Can we go to the overhead there, Simon? Okay. Look, right. lovely one M roses, and all she did was just paint the inside. Of the bag just with very thin strips don't um don't over color it just dip it into your, your gel and straight up the bag wash your brush into another color straight up your bag if so you want it's to do what it needs there is a little bit of water on the brush yes. to start with. yeah it doesn't just matter drops it down yeah water. just drops it down but it does cut you yeah, get the gorgeous edgings if you just want to go around with a couple of if you want to go around just with purple or just with pink you get these edgings if you go around with a few different colors i mean look at them Stunning. They're, they're great and they're great for the tops of your cakes. They're great for even if you want to put them on your desserts like your mousse or your, your jellies. It, they're absolutely great. Like Carol said, coat them in chocolate, the little ones. You've got you've got little sweets. If you coat those mm -hmm. in chocolate, you've got little sweets then if you it's want a to. Posh eating mess. Well, yeah. Yeah, you could put these little blobs in without having to break them up and you absolutely. have got a posh, you haven't got crumbly meringue. You've got proper big blobs of meringue in there. Mm -hmm. So this is all from the whipping up. So guys, get by in the whipping up as well. And Linda Miles said you could bling those flowers up nicely with the finishing sparkle. All right. <laughs>
Set a challenge, oh, have you? <laughs> we all get that buzzer, but while we're doing this, we're just letting the cupcakes cool a bit more, you see, so it's great. So here we go. Could you possibly put a little bit of buttercream on the top of your cupcake and use that as a cupcake topper? They're not vegan, remember? No, I'm oh, oh, yes. just in general. In general, yes, in, in general. general, these would be an excellent cupcake topper. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, they're not vegan because they have got the uh, the egg the egg in it, the egg white in it. But absolutely, you could you could do that as a, even on top of your cake if you wanted a big six inch cake or eight inch cake. But look at that for a, a cupcake topper. Fantastic. I mean, I just get one of my cupcakes now, even though. Yeah, they're cooling down nicely. I mean, if you got that, you put a bit of buttercream. Look at that. There we go. That would be amazing as, it'd be absolutely amazing as a, a cupcake topper. You've got the gorgeous chew meringue along with a sponge. Oh, combination of textures. Te and then you've got a little bit of buttercream underneath to hold it on. So you've got that combination of textures and, mm. and, and flavours. Oh, I do like my ideas. Absolutely. They're almost as good as Simon's. <laughs> No, he's not going to let you off on that one. Oh, sorry. So, can, Simon, can you see them blinged up? I don't know if you can... Yeah. Okay. Can you see them blinged up, ladies? I've, I've, oh, they are shiny. They are gorgeous with the, with the finishing sparkle on. The green board looks good as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you see them on the green board, that's as much as what's on the, on the cupcake. So, yeah, I mean, look at them. Breeder Arnold says she added bling before putting them in the oven. And they turned out nice. Oh, you decadent person here. <laughs> does that work? Does, that, does it not go away, the bling? Does it sink well, it, in? Breeder, it's not gone away for Breeder. It must be great. <laughs> right. Chocolate orange. Or it's actually Jaffa Twist. Jaffa Twist, natural flavoured buttercream, non-dairy. I've got in my bowl here, and I remember what I've done, because I've done that much today. Here we go. 200 grams of non-vegan dairy spread. I'm going to put my whisk in. Here it is. Now, have, you, have you all heard Simon pouring his coffee? No. <laughs> he, can't, he, he can't even do a, a two-hour live or an hour live without his coffee. Well, I, I started this with an empty cup. <laughs> so I'm going to whisk that till it's nice and fluffy. And then in there, I have got, so it's 100 grams of the uh, non... Oh, start again, sorry about that. It's because I need a drink. <laughs> 100 grams of <laughs> non-vegan dairy spread in the bowl. I'm just whisking out, just so it's a bit nice and light. And then I've got 200 grams of Jaffa Twist flavoured icing sugar. No, 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 no. When you stop making a noise, you know, you die. <laughs> so I've got my clean cup again because I think I've chocolated that one out. Oh, the engine is mixing really lot. Yeah, it's just mixing now. I'm just going to show you now. I've got it. I've just whisked it round there just so it was. Uh, because it's been in the fridge, just uh, get that bit in there. Oops. Because all I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop the cocoa powder into it. Uh, cocoa powder? The Jaffa Twist natural flavoured icing sugar. I'm going to drop that into it and I'm just going to chop it in. Again, we don't want a nice big cloud around the kitchen. Mmm, I can smell orange again now. The mm. strawberries and cream's gone and I'm back to orange. <laughs> Do hope you're enjoying this live. They're loving it. Absolutely. Always. And Alison Skirr's excited because her sugar and crumbs order's just arrived. Oh, brilliant. Mm. There's nothing better than that, is there? What a weekend Alison's going to have. And don't forget, anything you make, I do like to see it on the community page. I absolutely love seeing all your creations. And I love seeing if you've done something that we've done on the live, me and Carol. We, we love seeing what you've done. Are you aware of any vegan sprinkles that we supply? Not off the top of my head. No, no. I can't, uh, can't think of any. I will have to check with Carol because yeah. on, on the top of my head, I'm sorry, no, I haven't. So just waiting for that to all combine together. And then I'll turn the mixture up to give it a nice beat for 30 seconds. Come on. Carl, the only recipe 
recipes are on the website www.sugarandcrumbsmixingitup, all one word, .co.uk. Um, and if you type in the search, head, search bar, uh, vegan, there are currently 10 recipes in there and they're all With thy way, yeah. So Helen Williams is saying, for this particular topping, are you using the whisk rather than the paddle? Because you would normally use a paddle for buttercream. And I forgot. Yeah, I should have used it. I should have used a beater. Oh, there you go. Yeah, thank you, Helen. Oh, Helen. So, the thing we're looking at is not the right thing that you would normally use. No, no, it's not. I picked the paddle up and I picked the whisk up instead. Thank you, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> eagle eye Helen. <laughs> it's like they were eagle eyed last night when Carol put that meringue back in the oven that was already cooked. I'd never, I saw the tray go in and I didn't even realise it was cooked. <laughs> <laughs> just put it on there to just show <laughs> what it's going to look And then just filled the tray with everything yeah, else. It's great, yeah, it's great. I left it. So Nadine's asking, was it 100 grams of the spread? And 200 grams of the icing sugar. It was, yes. And so it's exactly the same combination as if you were using butter. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a 1M. I'm going to use a Wilton 1M just to pipe some rose swirls on top of the um, cupcakes. Oh dear, Debbie Hargreaves says she's in trouble today. She's just had six new large airtight containers delivered and a new KitchenAid bowl and she's got a sugar and crumbs order due as well. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. That send sounds it amazing. Out, send it out to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> tell, him you, tell him you need something from the shop. <laughs> if you need something from the shop, you can get your orders in quick without him seeing them. Uh, I just meant to say, could you mention the, the flowers on offer at one pound a bag? Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll also, just in case you don't realise. Carol, that. have you seen what we've just, we've, we've just said? We've just blinged. Oh, we? have <laughs> just blinged a couple up to say how good they are. And we actually put one on top of a cupcake to have say, you look. Seen how many macro, how many I've shown them, them some, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep bringing the plates. So I keep bringing trays. Have you seen this lot now? Have you seen this lot? <laughs> I said there must be over 200, 300 meringues in this kitchen along this counter. Yeah, well, Carol's going to take them back into work for a second. <laughs> um, if you just show the Nelstrop's flour, it's on yep. offer now a pound a bag, three per, three per person. I certainly will. Just fill in my bag, ladies, while it's in my hand. See, I love all this chatting because it just gives my, um, just gives my cupcakes that little bit longer. Just to cool down that mm -hmm. little bit longer. To be fair, cupcakes don't take they don't. that long to cool down, they don't. do they? But so provided that you've got plenty of air going round underneath as well as yeah. around. There we go. Again, you know I'm a mucky pup. <laughs> That's chocolate for you. Oh, I know. Me and chocolate. Not just you. And people say, it's a, you know, like Macron's and Nemesis, chocolate is mine. Because <laughs> I can do anything with chocolate and I can get absolutely covered in it. I'll just get my cupcakes out. Here they are. Right. So before we decorate these, as Carol just said, don't forget, we've got a good, I'll put it on that way for you there, Self, Nelstrop's self-raising flour and Nelstrop's plain flour. Because we're moving warehouse, we've found we've got loads of flour in and we want to try and um, get rid of some of the stuff before we move. So they've reduced this down to a pound a bag. Now it's two pound in Morrison's. So a pound a bag, you cannot grumble. Wow. But we are limiting it to three per people. Per, per, per person. Per, per order. Three, three per order. Three per order. So it's three per order, but please, ladies and gents, if you're watching, a pound a bag for 1.5 kilogram of Nelstrop's self-raising flour or plain flour. And it's lovely flour as it, well. It, it produces some brilliant results. I use it in the kitchen all the time now and it's it's absolutely fantastic. It's it's great. There we go. So get your flour, get your flour. Right. Here we go. 
So I'm just going to pipe some rose swirls. Yeah, Nikki King says she's still having trouble getting flowers some weeks. It seems to be very hit and miss at the moment, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, most baking supplies at the moment seem to be uh, hit and miss. Depends on where you live. It depends on uh, which stores you're, of it, you're going to. So it can be a bit of a, a problem for some people. And Bold Baker Paul says it's great flour. And he should know. Absolutely. Squeeze that down. So does this spread that you're using, does it have this, do you use approximately the same as if you were using buttercream? I use exactly the same. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes as, as far as yes. your batch of buttercream. Yeah. That's uh, probably not... <laughs> Debbie Hargrew says she'd love some flour but she don't place another order unless she gets lucky in one of the drawers <laughs> <laughs> well because I know this is oh I can't do it because it's not vegan oh I've got, my, I've got any left in there no you know what oh there it is oh what's that one That is the um, the strawberries and cream one. It's because I just run out of the Jaffa Twister. I've been a bit generous, and I didn't scrape the ball completely. And then I went shopping to uh, I went shopping to Holland and Barrett, and I got some gorgeous vegan chocolate. So for the children, it's great if you want to decorate them up. You can you can either make your um, you can make little flowers, butterflies out of your icing sugar, your sugar paste if you want to. Or for children, if they're decorating cakes up. There's nothing better than just getting them. Oops. Paula Brown says that last one's for the chef. <laughs> yeah, I wish. <laughs> Again, the boys in the warehouse don't care. <laughs> they will be tucking into these this afternoon for their morning for their afternoon break. I know that. There's a nice tip here. Alison Skur says she's got lots of flour in the freezer at the moment. Really? Mm. Oh. oh. I oh, didn't yeah. I didn't actually know you could freeze flour. Oh. I knew you could freeze butter, but I wasn't I wasn't sure. aware why of freezing flour. I'm not sure why you what does it have? Does it go off that quick? No, but it means you can stock up when you can find it. Absolutely, <laughs> that's great. And again, we're just gonna we cannot send cupcakes out without bling. without bling. And it just adds that whole new, oh, just brings them to life. Oh, that looks absolutely fab. You can never put too much bling on You can can't, you? can you? So I've got those there. Right. I'll just bring the Victoria sponge out. Karen, do you have to do another, competi another competition with while I get a knife? Because I think we're going to cut a piece of this just so they can see the inside of the cake. Will do, no problem yeah. at all. So again, the 13th of July, Karen, um, sorry, Karen Davies. Uh, was doing the demonstration on the silicon mould space and dinosaurs and I think you can see some of the dinosaur cookies that were made on the day in the background um, so the uh, the share the sorry the competition winners winnings there was for six bags of icing sugar of your choice and a Viennese swirl mould or a £25 gift voucher and that's your choice Okay, and again, I know this late young lady is watching today, so congratulations to Alison Skur. Well done, Alison. Well done, Alison. Well done, Alison. That's fantastic. Again, send us an email, uh, let us know which competition you've won and what your choice would be, and we'll get the girls in the office to get that sorted for you. Fantastic. Right, I'm just going to cut. Somebody wants to see the inside of this cake, so let's just cut a wee slice. Oops, 
I'll turn it on its side so you can see the sponge. Sam, can we have an overhead, please? And there you go. You can see all the lovely air bubbles in there. So it's a lovely, it is It is a light sponge. It, it's a bit denser than what I've used ever. I mean, that to me. Karen, would you like to have a taste of that? Oh, why not? Just to sort of tell us how, how it tastes. <laughs> As if I'd say no. Yeah, because you know me, I'm being really good. A piece of sugar has not passed my lips in three weeks. Wow. No, it's not wow. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it difficult when you work with it? It is oh, really difficult. Time. But, you know, I got on the scales this morning. I am a pound off a stone. Wow. Fantastic. So, my well actual, I got on the scales early. I'm naughty because my weigh day is actually Monday. So well, I should have. I should weigh myself on a Monday morning. So I'm hoping by Monday morning when I do the live, I have lost that first stone in three weeks. And I feel like I've achieved a, a, something there and then I'll carry on doing it now. But I've, uh, I'm sticking to it. Super. Well done. Um, in reference to the flour in the freezer, I know that Ma McDonald, Maureen McDonald has been shown as the uh, as the guru on yeah, this brew. Yeah. She says if you get weevils in your flour, you put it in the freezer and it kills the weev weevils. Ah. Wow. There we go. Yeah. There you go. There you see go. this this show. Oh, full of tips. Absolutely. Tips and hints. Right. Have you got one more composition the there, Carol? Yeah. I would think so. The heat with bait, yeah. So. Yeah, <laughs> there's quite a few saying, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I must admit, I saw I see weevils in my flower, it goes in the bin. <laughs> okay, okay. Have you got the last competition I you can do indeed. there, Karen? No problem at all. Um, the last competition was uh, when Carol was making the meringue kisses on the 16th of July last night um, and the offer there was for seven bags of whipping it up so uh, the seven bags are actually on offer at the moment um, 29.99 up I believe rather than 34.95 so you're technically getting the bag for free aren't you Absolutely. with that but Crick Griffiths is actually going to get the lot for free, so well done to Crick Griffiths. Well done, Crick. Fantastic, well done. I'm just going to bring out a few. <laughs> I'm just bringing a, a few um, on the table here of the meringues that Carol did just then that I've done this morning so that you can see them all. We've got tons of them. I mean, when I said that Carol was baking meringues, I was not kidding. And I've still got, uh, I've One, still got two, another, two trays, two trays and another bowl. Over, a bowl full, <laughs> two boards full, two big boards full. Yeah, because my Carol There's did. absolutely masses of them. Because Carol did my name, as you saw at the beginning. Now, can you just pass me that tray again, please, with my name on it? With your name With my name on it, Karen. No, You're... it's got my name on it. It's your name not there at the bottom, Karen. <laughs> well, that one. That, that's the end. Right, I, I want to show the ones that Carol did for me. And there's one for me. <laughs> and there, look at that. And that's what Carol did for me yesterday. Well, last night. After that, And look at that. And I'm just going to quickly pick up Carol's in case you didn't watch the live last night. This is where the pink board is. Look at that. Isn't that great? That looks absolutely fantastic. So as you can tell, there is lots of meringues around the kitchen. Is that what's that cake taste like, Carrie? It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm really? just about to put another spoon in the <laughs> I got her before she started talking. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna put these to one side. I can just show you. Here we go, here we go. I must admit, I'm not, I don't mind vegetarian recipes, but I don't try vegan recipes myself. But that is absolutely lovely. Really, really nice. Well, thank you. Mm. And thank you for doing the competitions today, and thanks for doing the comments. And oh. I'll look forward to seeing you on Monday again, seeing as you've given, you've, given us, you've given us your time on a Monday and a Friday. That's absolutely brilliant. Lovely. Loving it all the time. 
So, ladies and gents, if I've got any gents watching, I have. I've got Paul. We have. Thank you, Paul. And I've got Chris, if, if, Crip, if Crip's watching. Yep. Uh, I think he is. Right. So, you have your chocolate orange. It's the vegan chocolate orange muffins. They're made with using our natural flavoured cocoa powder in the sponge mix. And then I've used Jaffa Twist natural flavoured icing sugar with the non-vegan dairy spread to make the buttercream. I've just topped them with some vegan chocolates that I bought out of Holland and Barrett. Then we have your classic vegan Victoria sponge sandwich. Now, I know classic ones you can fill with cream, but I decided to do it with a gorgeous strawberries and cream, butter cream instead. Again, all non-dairy, and it's the uh, two eight-inch layers of sponge. It's decorated, it's filled with, um, the sponge is flavoured with strawberries and cream, natural flavoured icing sugar, and the butter cream is strawberries and cream, natural flavoured icing sugar. Flav fla I've got flavoured in two times there. <laughs> It was so good I had to say it twice. Absolutely. <laughs> and I just decorated with some strawberries. Well, I hope you enjoyed the live. Thanks for joining me. Uh, please don't forget to like and share all through the week or with your groups and your friends and you're in the chance to go in the draw next Friday for all the amazing prizes we have. And today's is uh, one bag of cocoa powder, four bags of icing sugar, or three bags of cocoa powder, or six bags of icing sugar. What a choice. What a choice. <laughs> So thank you so much. Uh, don't forget tomorrow, Carol's on Cake International at 11 o'clock. So please tune in and watch Carol on Cake International tomorrow. She's also on Cake Flicks. Now we don't know if the time's been changed from 11 o'clock yet. So uh, if, it, if, if it is on, watch the Cake, watch the cake International one first because that's live. And then you can go back and you can find the uh, Cake Flicks one because that's always a pre-recorded video. So don't forget, tune in tomorrow. And the next time I see you will be Monday morning. Half eleven, we'll do vegan scones and I'll possibly do, I might as well because vegan scones are done quick, we'll do some uh, vegan vanilla cupcakes as well. So thank you. Thank you, Karen. You're welcome. Thank you, Simon. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. I'll see you okay. soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.